All right, this is gonna be our first hit. We are here at Renegade Racing with my white Mustang over here getting cooled down because we're going to do some baseline runs, not stock. It is tuned with some headers and it's got the course of intake, but we're here to do some baseline runs before the ESS supercharger goes on. We're here with my boy Colton back here with his black new Mustang GT and his a stock minus Corsa cat back. So that's not really going to count for much, but completely stock. And he's here to get baseline numbers as well because he's doing an ESS floor as well. If you're in the Clarksville area, come check out Renegade Racing. It's a freaking awesome shop, guys. We're going to go in here and check it out. Two pools, I think, probably two or three pools on yours. We'll do the same on mine. Have fun video. See what we learn from our baseline pools. And this is all going to tell a story about where we go from here. So let's head into the shop and let's go. Let's do a little walk around the car for all of you guys that are new to the channel. Appreciate you subscribe and being a part of this adventure. And it's only going to get turned up from here. 2022 Mustang GT. Bought it a couple of months ago, brand new. And it's got almost 2,000 miles on it. So now it is time to actually start having fun with it. All right, so we have the Corsa intake. This is the non-tuned version. So it looks really good. So then we have the cook's long tube headers installed and they fit amazing all stock we got our beautiful wheels and then we have our corsa extreme active exhaust see we need to come up with a name for this build let me know in the comments what would you like to see anyway let's go in here take a look at colton's car real quick and see what he's got going on what happened where do you remember where they normally uh if you want a good ground source a really good one is like right there and then we'll take his we'll get that in a second we'll take that off that's his track yeah abs we'll get rid of that and then other than that so yeah you guys can see that he is a completely stock Mustang GT minus the Corsa Extreme in the back. 400 miles on now? Oh, time to send it. We are on a dyno jet and check out this scenic room here, guys. Renegade Racing, come check them out in the Clarksville, Tennessee area. We got her strapped down. Uh, yeah, seventh gear is the one to one. Ready to rock and roll. It did start. It's kind of like my girlfriend. If I don't really take care of her, she leaves and uh, doesn't work anymore. So. <laughs> Boost is coming, so there's that. And what do you think she's going to make? Well, I was about to say, so I'm thinking for to 410. 4 to 410 in seventh gear uh, with it. No, no, this is a 2022. This so a it still has that carbon crap inside of the. So let's subtract. So maybe like 390. Uh, I'm going to go 397. 397. 397. 397. Maybe 390. Don't know. It's a really hot day, but it's all going to be SA corrected numbers. So there's that. You know what look really good on this car? What's that? An intercooler sitting right there. You know, it's coming, but you're not going to see it because it's going to be stealthy as can be. Yeah, mine's going to pop out. With that raw aluminum, it's going to look really good on the white Mustang coming very soon. Colton, I do like your new drag radials back here. Oh, dude, they're amazing. Yeah, this is that new new. <laughs> see, what happened was... What happened was... Man, fit. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's called a, a rookie mistake. Don't worry, we got beat locks. It's okay. Really? We just got to go pick them up. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's going to be the first pull. Hey, 397. Oh, did it, did it bump up and down? Huh. 384. Oh, look at that, 384. The one with the lower number wins. That'd be me. Alright, second pull. So we're trying to do different with the uh, transmission, put it into uh, the sport mode. So, may see a little bit of a higher number. So did 384.99, so we're consistent. The numbers are about the same there, so that's good. But I'm wondering what the mile an hour. I wonder if you hit. It still got to stop soon. Yeah. So what did you maybe hit the uh, the governor? 
I don't know. Wait, wait, let's look. I got the video. Let's see. All right, so. Get out of the, uh, the noise here. It's a completely stock car. So he's hitting the stock um, governor, speed limiter. We look at the video footage and it hit like upwards mid 150s. So uh, yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. We're gonna call it good. So remember, if this is like an 18 through 2021, then he would be 10 horsepower higher. Technically, he'd be around a, with a little more RPM, I think that that would have been, given that year, about a 400 horsepower pull, which makes sense. So now, he wasn't able to actually hit 7,500 RPM. He's a little bit below that because of the speed. And he also has that carbon insert in the intake system. So 180 whatever horsepower that he made, I think is actually correct. But now it is time to see what. Call this like the white dragon or something. No, I don't know what we're gonna call this thing. What this project name is going to turn into, I'm not really sure yet. Let me know if you have any ideas what we should call this car back there. But uh, anyway, maybe it's like our, our good luck charm. But we're gonna put this thing on the dyno now, see what this makes now. Remember this has headers and the cat back and the course intake, which does not require a tune. So we should see maybe just a little bit of horsepower from that because we did remove the carbon filter with that new intake system. So I'm gonna say about 425, 430. And if we see anything north of that, that'd be great, but I'll be happy with that. So let's find out, let's go. You mean you're not supposed to drive with the hood up? No, absolutely not. No. Hey, what? Was your AC on and running? I bet you it probably was. There's your 17 horsepower. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, you can turn around if you need to. Ooh, that sounds delicious. You gonna flip her around? Hey, it sounds good though. It's gonna be our first hit. So again, what happened? Yeah, I think your uh, I think your wheels bent a little bit. They better not be. Look at it. What do you mean? Look at that. It's all bent. It's concave, boy. <laughs> it's supposed to look like that. Go. I'm ready to go. We are tuned by Daryl Winger, Winger Performance Car. Though we don't have, we should not have the top speed governor. So should have no issues getting to about 7,500 RPM. What did you do? Chinese thing. Yeah. I can't do the other thing, so I gotta do that. Hey, Mr. I got scissors. Oh, oh look, look, I got it. You don't make enough power. Interesting. I said 407. Yeah. <laughs> 416. Okay. All right, we didn't have the fan running, so static air, but 416, first pull. Oh, the fan hook job. We can do the second hit. Let's see what it does. Torque. All right, so 416 all SAE corrected numbers. It is a hot day. Keep that in mind. And then 393, 394, so consistent. Well, it's 93 gas. I mean, we we're about 25, 30 horsepower with these mods over your stock Mustang, and then this kind of backs it up and proves it. So pretty cool. But cold air intake does make a difference. A little bit, a little bit. So is the Corsa worth it? Yep, I would say probably so. All right, to make it make sense, guys, remember this is the stock. Little bit make sense. This is the same uh, MAF inlet size as a stock intake. So you can run this with no tune, which is the benefit. Makes it kind of like if you're in California, you'd be fine with this. Should be anyway. But uh, you never know because it's California. But um, but if you went with like an open top, but if you want <laughs> nothing good in California, nothing good in California. But like I'm saying, if you went with a, an open top design, again, we wanted to keep IETs in check. But in theory, you had a bigger uh, pipe here than, you know, maybe a little bit more horsepower. Maybe we just seen like, you know, another eight horsepower. I, mean, I understand you're not used to big pipes, but it's okay. Well, you know, we're learning. We're learning. You stop that. You stop that. 
Get the negativity out of my life. I can't take it. All right, guys, that's the video. Appreciate you watching. If you've hung in there this far, please subscribe to the channel. Turn your bell notification on because Boost is coming. We've got our stock pulls out of the way, so we know where we have grown from whenever we start doing more dyno hits with the boost and the different pulleys because ESS did send us a few different pulleys. We're gonna be testing those and seeing what the difference there is and then eventually E85 and all that. And then also drag strip stuff is coming your way soon. So appreciate you guys watching again. Take care, have a great day. God bless every single one of you. Stay safe out there while you're driving. And until next video, I'll see you later.